Welcome back. If there's anyone who likes to get into the hack and hurl a stone down the pebbled ice, it's Myra Lawrence, Prairie Proud. Prairie Proud, hurry hard, Andrew. It is going to be an all-island showdown tonight at the Victoria Curling Club. The two Victoria ranks, Josh Hozak and Cameron DeJong, will play each other in a tie break at the Junior Provincial Curling Championships. The draw starts at 7 p.m. The winner will move on to tomorrow's semifinals. On the girls' side, well, it's been a week to remember for the Van Osh rink from Nanaimo. This foursome finished round-robin play at the Junior Provincials in top spot with a 6-1 and one record. They will get an automatic berth to tomorrow's finals. And a win sends them to Ontario to represent BC at the Nationals. The only loss came on day two, and since then, Team Van Osh has been running the tables on the competition. They shook hands with the Brittany McCauley rink after a steal of one in the eighth end this morning. It was a 7-1 final for Van Osh. The Nanamo girls are certainly feeling confident heading into tomorrow's final. How was the competition out there this week? It was good. Pretty even throughout all the teams and even playing field. We just figured it out and got going on a roll. Once you get going, it's hard to stop. So close to going to the Nationals. How do you keep things in check from here on in? It's um, a good question. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to our coach and because he's he was at Nationals many years ago at Juniors. So we'll talk to him and see. And then there's another lady here who will talk to us and help us with the mental stuff for tomorrow. The curling is very much a family affair in the Van Osh household. Kessa's two sisters help make up this fearsome foursome. So do sibling spats get heated on the pebbled ice. Um, any rivalries we have off the ice, we don't carry on the ice. On the ice, we're a team, we're not a family. So it works better if you do it that way. This is my last year at juniors, and we want to make a run national title because it's the last time with my three sisters till they all age into ladies. So. so this is the last hurrah for the Van Osh girls? Yep, till five years or so, till my baby sister grows up a bit. <laughs> Look what is awaiting the Victoria Royals when they return home from their Portland road trip. The world's largest light bright. Just a lot more advanced. The crew at Save on Foods Memorial Center has been tirelessly working getting these video screens up and running for Tuesday's game against the Calgary Hitmen. There are eight LED screens in total, four massive ones that are made up of 28 separated panels. Together they are 18 feet wide by 10 feet high. There are also four corner screens so there will be 360 degrees of live HD action and replays. The video screens will be raised above the score clock. It is fancy and it is pricey. The City of Victoria worked with us on this to get it into the facility. It's going to be it's a over $500,000 project and less than a million. So it's a lot of work, a lot of effort, and a lot of guys put a lot of time and effort to get it done over the Christmas holidays. It's a high-end uh, current technology video board that uh, is 6 mil. Uh, which will be a great definition as far as uh, fans in the stands. Uh, it'll be just like watching TV. We've got a, a refresh rate of over 10,000 megahertz or whatever. It, exactly. That's about what my head was shaking at that point. It's a, it's a high-end piece of equipment. Well, on game night, a broadcast crew of 14 will be on hand to handle the video production. Five camera operators, a director, replay, and graphics people. All this will help enhance the hockey experience for the spectators. Two roaming cameras in the stands and then three on ice yeah. level to uh, film the game. Looking forward to seeing that. That was the only thing when I went to the first Royals game. I was like, they need the big screens. They did it for we you. We got to go. I Bye. know they did. <laughs>